Police sharing new details tonight about a police chase and crash that happened last night. This is in the busy West 7th Entertainment District. Police say a suspected drunk driver slammed his car into two pedestrians and another vehicle after officers tried to pull that person over. Our Olivia Leach speaking with witnesses who work in the area who saw the aftermath of all of this. I just hear what sounded like an explosion. And then I look up like past the little building right here and I just see a bunch of smoke. Just after 10 o'clock Saturday night, Fort Worth police tried to pull over a driver they believed was intoxicated at the intersection of Bailey Avenue and University Drive. But police say that driver kept going, leading officers on a chase. At some point in the chase, police say the driver of that truck struck two pedestrians and another vehicle here at the intersection of West 7th and University Drive. We spoke to a woman who works in the area who saw the aftermath of the crash. She asked we not show her face. And then I just see people running, so I run towards it. I see a woman on the sidewalk screaming that she's in pain and that everything hurts. I see a man laid out. Fort Worth police tell us the two pedestrians and those inside the car that was hit were taken to local hospitals in stable condition. I was so worried for the man and like just the car because like the car that was hit, the black car, like it was so bad. And then just to see the man there and like the people screaming, like it was, a, it was surreal. It was really scary. The suspect, 29-year-old Andrew Guerra, was arrested on scene and charged with three counts of intoxicated assault with a vehicle. I only saw one wheel. Like, that guy was, like, it looked like he was literally speeding, like, on three rims and just one wheel. The Fort Worth Police Department's chase policy has come under scrutiny after several police chases last summer turned deadly. The CBS News Texas I team has asked for their policy on police chases on multiple occasions, but the city of Fort Worth is suing to keep that policy a secret from the public. The city council signed off on a lawsuit just days ago, blocking the I team's request for the policy. Fort Worth police tell us the people who were injured in last night's crash are expected to survive. In Fort Worth, Olivia Leach, CBS News Texas.